Back with the team, everybody. Give it up for Patrick. I gotta admit, Patrick, when I saw you walking with Jen the first time, I thought she was a call girl. I really did. She's, she's that hot. I mean, and he needs to pay for it. I was, I was insulting him. Or is that why you owed me? Shit. Yeah. Sorry, Patrick. You're here on a very lucky night, actually. Patrick is a huge comedian, and uh, your headliner Tim's unbelievable. My favorite guy, actually. I have to. I'm on kind of in Alan's boat. Um, I'm a little high myself, but mine is Percocet and two beers. <laughs> you really should read the label on those, it's true. So, uh, I, I mean, when I was coming to the boathouse tonight, I noticed this door. This actually opens and you can see all of Victoria Park, isn't that exciting? I figured we should, no more comedians, we're done for the night, we'll just look out the window. This is Victoria Park in Kitchener. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know what. A drug deal? Blowjob? Some fucked up combination of the two of those things? You know, it's weird when you look at a Victoria Park. Those houses, those are like million dollar houses. <laughs> you ever wonder on a Saturday morning in July if a guy looking out his fucking top window, big bay window, looking down on the park like, nope. <laughs> Not going to the park today, honey. <laughs> that guy's fucking a goose and doing crystal math. <laughs> what the fuck is that? And what the, is that a multicultural festival? <laughs> fuck that. I know I voted liberal, but I'm still white and rich. I have to put up with this fucking bullshit. Jesus Christ. Get the Audi. We're going to Muskoka. Connor, Connor Bentley, get in the car. I don't know, are those kids' names? Uh, rich kids' names, I guess. <laughs> why are we going to Muskoka? Because it's whiter, that's why. A lot, it's a lot whiter. That's why we're going. Yeah. I knew we should have bought in Deer, Deer Ridge, honey. No, you had to be all urban and live by the park and walk to the fucking market. You don't even go to the fucking market. Fucking hipsters everywhere and their beards. Oh, I'm a man, because I can throw an axe in an old hockey arena while drinking the latest Flying Squirrel IPA. Ooh. Back in my day, you drank 50 or golden, and that's how it fucking was. Fuck you and your crap beer and your fucking beards. Now that I've insulted half the bar... Um... <laughs> Sorry, Ben. I love you. Uh... It was funny, today it was raining, there wasn't this much snow. You know one thing you notice when the snow starts melting and you go through a park? A lot of people don't clean up after their fucking dogs. There's a lot of dog shit out there. I don't know why I just told you that. <laughs> I think it's the first time. Uh, I'm keeping my jacket on because I was outside before I came in there. My nipples are hurt. Can you see that? Like seriously, is there a side view there? Yeah, I know. I'll see you later. <laughs> you, you know way too much about me. That's not going to happen. Uh, what was I talking about? Dog shit. Yeah, so my name's Dan McFarlane, which is the worst segue ever. But um, do you want to hear a good story? Yeah, me too. Go. Um, <laughs> I was reading the paper the other day, which people usually don't do, but I'm a little older, so I like to read the paper and sit at McDonald's with all the other old guys and get free coffee all day. It's pretty awesome. Uh, and I was reading about Donald Trump. You guys, have you heard of Donald Trump? Yeah. That was sarcasm. I'm assuming you've heard of this fucking idiot. So on Saturday, he was at an event in Iowa, and he said he was so popular that he could shoot somebody in the face in the middle of Fifth Avenue and get away with it. And Everybody cheered. Like, yeah, probably could. You know what? The, the, I, one thing I like about him is he might be the president of the United States and he's a billionaire. It makes me think I could do anything. If an idiot could do that, I could fucking do anything. And if he wins, that's four years of material that I don't really have to write. I just have to fucking read the paper. <laughs> but one thing that really does scare me about him, honestly, is he said that he might repel the law in the United States that it was legal for same-sex couples to get married, right? Which is kind of funny, because it just happened in July, 
Like it's been six fucking months, uh, which is kind of embarrassing for a major country like the US. Like Ireland made it legal before the US. Ireland. Ireland's 50% Catholic and 50% drunk Catholics. Like, I don't know how the fuck that happened. I have a friend of mine, actually he's a friend of a friend of a friend, he's a very religious guy, and he says to me, he's like, Sandy, are you for gay marriage? I'm like, well, I don't know you very well, Bill, but uh, you buy me a beer and suck my dick. <laughs> Who knows what could happen? I'm easy. Of course I'm for gay marriage, I said to him. Gay people should have the exact same rights as straight people, right? <laughs> At least until there's a cure for... for <laughs> Percocet. Yeah. That's a joke. That, that really is a joke. I'm being completely serious. That is a joke. Uh, I'm completely, I don't give a fuck who you fuck. I really don't care. As a matter of fact, I think it would be great to date a guy. That'd be awesome. Hey, remember when you called my dad an asshole like three years ago? No. Yeah, me neither. You want to watch hockey and jerk each other off? Yeah, that sounds, <laughs> sounds a lot better than arguing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But I think for me, that's where kind of I have to draw the line, right? That's just, just not my thing. Just not my thing. I don't care who does it. Just not my thing. But I gotta tell you, there's times where I'm arguing with my girlfriend where the whole time I'm thinking, I'd gladly suck every dick in this whole city if you would just shut the fuck up for two seconds. I think that's it for me tonight. Thank you very much, everybody. My name's Sandy McFarlane. Have a great night.